Hey guys, how are we doing? So this week we're going to work on a couple different skills. One we're going to review is copy, cut, and paste. The difference between those and the shortcuts that we can use to use those. We're also going to create what's called a table. The table is a um, text feature that you have used, you've talked about, and we're going to create one on here that then we can use to uh, research our different text features, which is something that you are doing in class. And I kind of want to combine this with your classroom lessons that you're working on. So here we see copy, cut, and paste. To start, we're going to type in our names, full name, because we are in fourth grade and we can, we can type in our full name. And we're going to learn how to, and remind us of how to copy and paste. One thing we want to think about when we're doing cut, copy, and paste is that everything that we're doing here is working off of what they call a clipboard. A clipboard is where you save your items that you're copying or cutting. And I'm going to show you how to use shortcuts with these because some of uh, the computer accounts I've noticed the cut and the copy isn't working when you click on it. You have to use the shortcut online. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. If it's able to work, this is your clipboard up here. This is where you would go to cut, copy, paste. Or we can also use what's called a right click. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go to my name. I'm going to highlight what I want to copy because if you don't highlight it, you can't copy it. You have to select what you want to do. When you select something, then you can make changes to it. One way we can make a change is go up here and click on copy. I can also do what I said was the right click. That's when you click in the bottom right corner of your touchpad. And it brings up these choices here for you, including copy. And then the final way we can do this is using our shortcuts. Shortcuts are quick ways to do things on your computer. Uh, all of the shortcuts that we're going to work on this year use the control key. The control key is CTRL. If you look down at your keyboards and you look at your space bar, to the right of your space bar, you'll see ALT and then CTRL. Control is a CTRL button. It's also one on the bottom left of your keyboard as well. So if you go to the left of your spacebar, you'll see another alternate. You'll see your start or your window button. You'll see FN for function button. And then finally, you'll see CTRL. Those are your two control buttons, and you use those to create shortcuts to happen on your screen. Shortcuts like hitting control C to copy, and then moving my cursor down and hitting control V to paste. That will move it much quicker. By hitting Control C, Control V, now using my shortcut, I'm able to get my name highlighted, copy and pasted very quickly. What we want to do today is type in our name, highlight it like I did, and then use Control C to copy, paste, and then paste again. And you'll see I don't have to copy again. I just have to paste again because it's saved to that clipboard. And I'm going to paste it in there so I have five total. Once we have five of our names, then we're going to say that we have been able to successfully on this sheet copy and paste something. We're going to go back to each of these later and you're going to review on your own how to change the fonts in them. Remember your font box is up here. This is all the stuff you need for fonts in this box right here. So you will play with that on each one of these you will select your name and then change style, size, effects, and you can change some color stuff as well to each of these five names. The second part we're going to look at here is how we can use a website to borrow information from one website and paste it in somewhere else. So if we wanted to find a picture or a small sentence that we were going to be moving, or maybe we're moving something from one slide to another in PowerPoint, or maybe I type a paragraph up here that I want to repeat at the bottom of a, of a longer paper, I can use this to copy and paste from other places as well. So here I'm going to go to, the, get to this website. To do that, you're going to need to use your control key again, your control, CTRL. When I hold down control, you'll see it gives me a hand. When I move it down, it goes back to either the arrow or the I beam. Everything has its own uses. An I beam, you click to type, an arrow, you click to select, and a hand, you click to move or go to. This is going to use its hyperlink to bring me to a website. When we look up top, we see that it automatically loads me into a new website. I will fix that so that it has the right website for you guys because you should actually be going to fourth grade. And on your fourth grade, you're going to see what we're going to be selecting here. The first thing we're going to do is copy and paste all of this up here. Common shortcuts used in Microsoft. I'm going to highlight here and drag down to the bottom. When I highlight everything, then I can now I can use my control C to copy. And there is our control C right there. When I hit control C, this is now what's in my clipboard. If I go back to this document here, put my mouse 
underneath that sentence and hit Control V. Now it pastes all of those in there for me as well. You see, I took that from a website and I brought it over here. We can also do that with pictures. Now, pictures are different ways we can do that. And say I wanted to bring this typing thing over to the other page, I could click and drag to highlight it like we did before with Control C, or we can use that right click that we talked about where you hover over something, you click the bottom right of your, of your touchpad. Now be careful because if you click the wrong spot in your touchpad, it's not going to right click, it's going to click on it. And when you click on something that's a hyperlink, it brings you to that hyperlink. We want to make sure we are right clicking so we get this screen right here. And you'll see there's different options in here. One of them is copy image. So you can use that right click to copy image, or you can do what I said earlier. You can highlight by click and drag and then control C. Either way, when we go back to our website here now, we're gonna move our cursor down and hit control V or right click paste. And now we have our picture in here as well. All right, so our assignment for this section here is to cut, copy, paste your name five times and then change those fonts. Again, highlight the name by clip, tri triple click. Choose a different font that you want to design with. Make it bigger. Don't make it so big it takes up two lines, but it is okay if your page takes up two pages. Right, I want you to play around with your bold italic underline, or you could even use your shortcuts. I'm gonna take my head off my mouse. Control U, I'm gonna remove that underline. and remove that bold by Control B. These are the other shortcuts that you may come across that you probably use quite a bit. We're talking about Control C and Control V right now, but all of these other ones are shortcuts that I use all the time on the computer. Okay.